terrible times. Ooh, Geralt the Monster Slayer. I've a wild art. Care to tell? I'm afraid the dishwater's as good as it gets in this establishment. Imlerith, was that your idea or series? Series. As I thought. I'm glad you went with her. I thought you'd be angry. Angry? Why? Because you supported Ciri in her decision? Or because you fought by her side and won? What if we'd lost? We wouldn't be having this conversation. And the female part of the continent's population would be drowning in tears. You won. No point bothering with what ifs. Hmm. Charming place. Why are you here? I was able to establish Margarita's whereabouts, the prison in Oxenford. I also learned the identity of the man who escaped from there. He should arrive shortly. What do you know about this fugitive? I know he's the only one ever to escape from Derard. Every guardsman in the city now seeks him. Sure he can be trusted? We'll soon find out. He just walked in. Abbe Faria? Who's asking? We'd like to talk. Damn! <sighs> Best run and get him. walk. Thought you'd agreed to meet. I said I'd found him, not that I'd spoken to him. What do you want from me? Let me be! Calm down, we just want to chat. Uh -huh. And then stick a shift between my ribs. Leave me in the gutter. Look at us. Do we look like bandits to you? Uh, no. No, not really. I'm glad you agree. Besides, you'd be worthless to us dead. So you... you shan't hurt me. No. You're gonna tell us your story, then be on your way. Uh, oh, so be it. But we, uh... We really ought to go back to Kate's. It's unwise to linger in the street. Drink up. It'll help. Thanks. What do you want? To get into Derard. Huh. Find a hunter. Tell them you practice magic. They'll, they'll lock you up lickety-split. We need to get in without anyone noticing. Tell us how you escaped, then get on with your life. They say no one gets out of Dayrod alive. Aye, so they say. My thought? Why not try it dead? But they burn the corpses. They didn't start burning them until they learned an old fellow like myself had escaped. Before, they dropped the stiffs into a great pit. The pit's connected to the sewers, and the sewers empty into the river. And once you reach the river, you're as free as a fish. So theoretically, we could get in the way you got out. Assuming we don't mind the company of decomposing corpses. And assuming you can squeeze through the grate. They barred the outlet to the river after I escaped. Huh. Explosives could take care of that. For half the city to hear us? 
I have a better plan. Oxenfurt was built on elven ruins. Which have to connect to the sewers somewhere. If we can find a way into the ruins... We'll get into the prison. They say Dayrod's better guarded than the keep at Vicovaro. They choose the guards from among witch hunters. The worst dregs. Rabid fanatics. If you don't mean you, what they do to folk. Torture every day. The wheel, the rack. We only knew peace on holidays, when they'd drink themselves blind. They're allowed to drink on duty? Not, not officially, but you know how it is. See? Wasn't so hard. One last bit of advice. Find a new tavern. Everyone here knows you. Thank you. Whatever your plans, I hope they work out. So do we. So long. What now? What our friend said about the guards was interesting. Drinking on duty? Zoltan could make sure they have plenty of hooch. Good idea. I'll search for the entrance to the ruins. Let's meet on the Oxenfurt Bridge. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds. Yeah. Imagine. Well, you know. So the girls want to go on strike? Race. Truth be told. Stalin's exacting too much tribute these days. Margarita at Dayrod. Got a plan to break her out, but we need your help. What should I do? Load a wagon with as much Mahakamut as you can find and drive it to Oxenford. Yennefer will give the signal. They'll drive through the gates and treat the guards. Oh, these are terrible times. Since the mage has left town, the hunters have taken to harassing non-humans. A dwarf lingering around the prison gates only stands to attract attention. Right. Didn't think of that. I'll go straight to Yen in that case. She went to find a way into the ruins beneath the city. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Greetings again. So, you got a job for me, an interesting one. You're in luck. I actually do have a special order for you. Oh, that's fantastic. Mark my words, you'll be satisfied. So long. Everyone to me! To me! Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop flexing. 
find a way in. Several. Nearest is through a well not far from here. Did you arrange any help? We'll manage on our own. Shall we begin? Let's do this. You sure the guards don't know about the passage through the ruins? Haven't planted sentries there? They haven't. How can you be sure? Novograd's hierarchs have taken great care to eradicate any and all memories of the city's elven roots. Even if anyone remembers the ruins are there, they have no recollection of how far and where they extend. And I'm absolutely certain no one has thought to place sentries there. Hope you're right. Here we are. This is it. Hmm. Boulder was plugging the well until recently. Due to an edict Hemelfart issued some years ago. But I managed to find two brawny and obliging passers-by who agreed to remove the impediment. For a modest fee, naturally. Here. What is this? Use it once you find Rita. I'll be able to pinpoint your location. See you inside then. Good luck. Wet clothes. Oh, joy. This one liked Elven stuff. Mechanism's broken. Missing a piece. Replace it with something else, maybe?
Let's dance. her first. Her condition's critical. It's pointless. He'll never open it without the key. The warden keeps them with him at all times. His room is upstairs. Be right back. That is. insisted on coming. Rita! Sheila! When I get my hands on the sons of bitches... Yena! I shan't make it. Hold on! You must hold on! <laughs> I'm dying, Iana. I'm a sorceress. Let me die with dignity. Yen, get Rita out of here. Geralt. Yena. Don't 
to argue with him. I can't pass through the portal with you both. You'll need to get out on your own. Don't like portals anyway. Go. Funny. There was a time I'd have asked you not to do this. No, you'd never have asked. You're too proud. Rescued of late. I believed I was special. Huh. <laughs> you actually do manage fine on your own. One thing I've learned is that you either let the lads beat you, or you learn to beat like the lads. So long. And, uh, work on your guard a bit. You're dropping it too low. We'll deal with the witches. Happiness will come today. I was there the whole time, had the situation under control. Mind if we change the subject? Any success with the launch? Anyone out there willing to help? It doesn't look good. Ida outright refused, while Francesca won't budge from her little realm with a war raging. We don't know about Frangilla. Haven't been able to contact her. Yen and I rescued Margarita. I know. Dandelion set her up in a room upstairs. She's resting, slowly recovering. What about Kira and Philippa? Kira? I thought you of all people that know. Few can refuse a sorceress. And Kira Metz certainly had her ways. But when she demanded the Mage Alexander's notes, I had to turn her down. Kira needed that. As she needed the impetus to start anew, she found it where she least expected to. Years later, known for discovering the cure for the Catriona Plague, she was thankful none remembered her time in hiding as a village witch. I've seen worse matches. Hope things work out for them. And I hope things work out for us, and we find Philippa and Rita. Did a little investigating. Learned some interesting things. Namely? Want the long or the short version? Tell me everything. I want the details. After fleeing Loch Nguyen, Philippa ended up here in Novigrad. She sought help from her former lover, the sorcerer Arthur de Vlister. 
Philippa and a former lover. Something tells me happily ever after is not how that story ends. Philippa had made a fool of him once. Arthur was out for revenge. He convinced her she'd be safest as an owl. She transformed, and he placed a dimoidium band on her leg. The mage hunt started shortly afterwards. Sadly, Arthur fell victim. They auctioned off his estate. Just so happened a certain dwarf and acquaintance of ours stumbled on the auction. Sultan. Huh. So Philippa was here under our noses the whole time? Was, precisely. Zoltan lost her in a card game a few days ago. Yep, that's Zoltan for you. A man showed up here, fleeced Zoltan Bear, then proposed they play for the owl. Naturally, he won. Then politely thanked Zoltan for the game and left. Who was it? Know where he lives? He's not from here. No one knows him. Great. We got any leads? We have this. That Philippa the Owl's feather? Thinking divination? Specifically hydromancy, and a form of sortilage. We need a fountain where we won't be disturbed. One outside the Passiflora could work. Good idea. Let's go. We're here. Nice and quiet. Shouldn't be any disturbances. Let's begin. Observe the water's surface carefully. I can't let anything go unnoticed. Graham, et weir, Robert Michele, Alfelte. Graham, et weir, Agnes Kerle, es Pirschena, a es Kleis. Looks familiar. A bathhouse. I know the place. Dijkstra. He has her at his bathhouse. Might have guessed as much. Let's go to the bathhouse. Might not be too late. Come on. I hope we get there in time. I hope Dijkstra hasn't already hurt her. The possibilities are many. Could be Dijkstra that got hurt. Not likely. Dijkstra never forgave her for sending assassins after him. And Philip is weakened, no doubt about it. Weakened, maybe, but still a powerful sorceress. If Dijkstra's men take the Dimeridium off, Philip will kill them before they can say, oh shit. Jump to death on three pounds of steel. Guess they underestimated Philip. Surrender! This place is a maze, witch! You'll never get out! Goddamn fools! After her! We'll handle this. Oh no, no, no! The sorceress stays here! We're going together. Not a chance. It's fine, Geralt. I'll stay. In case she tries to flee this way. Fine. Be right back. Joe, 
No pass go. Perty, Perty, no say. Damn it, cast a spell on him too. She's hurt. Did you see that? I want to help her. Birdie, no. Past go, say. But no, let past go. Ever had a stomach ache? Mm. Ache? Aye. But once old drowner eat. Her stomach aches like she just ate a hundred old drowners. But no want. Drowner make egg very bad. Let me pass. I can help her. But let pass go. With your help. I want to help you. Let me die. Don't hold your breath. dead by now. What do you want? To torment me? To watch others do so? I need your help. Betray me, and I will... Relax. Not planning on it. Triss is outside. She'll explain everything. Deepest apologies, but the lady will come with me. Dijkstra, I don't have time for this. Get out of my way. I've no quarrel with you, Geralt, but Phil and I have lots to talk about. Remember the assassins you sent after me, darling Phil? A grave error. Such matters ought to be handled personally, as I will now demonstrate. I remember you, little Bond, but this is no time for a lover's quarrel. But it's an excellent time to settle a score. Philippa will come with me, and answer for all the courtesies she's paid me. Always knew the value of information, Dijkstra. Which is why I don't believe you have anything I don't already know. The Emperor of Nilfgaard wasn't able to sway the Trade Corporation. Opposition nibbling at his arse, eh? Mm. Seems the White Flame won't dance on the graves of his foes much longer. His daughter has returned. The Emperor wants to abdicate, give her the throne. Cyrilla? Impossible. This... This could shift the tide of war. Provided, of course, you're not mistaken. The Emperor himself told me. So, information's first hand. Emir's a lying whore. When it comes to his daughter's future, doubt it. You've no idea of the importance of this information. A change on the Imperial throne could bring the war to an end. Radovid's sure to be delighted. 
If Amir sounds the retreat, there'll be no force left that could possibly stop that madman. Especially in light of our bloody aborted plan. You didn't actually believe you could do it. Radovid's crazy, but he's no idiot. Knows all too well there are dozens out there who'd... Silence. Do I understand you correctly? You want to kill Radovid? <laughs> well, Siggy, I am impressed. Doubt it you still had it in you, frankly. Sadly, as you well know, Radovid has sought refuge on his boat. He's guarded so closely, I'd not be at all surprised to learn he shares his bed each night with two sentries. You know too much, Phil. Yet one more reason why you must die. I think you might want to hear her out. Dare say Philippa despises Radovid at least as much as you do. I'm content someone apart from myself has finally gotten the idea to rid the world of the degenerate. Save your praise for others. I couldn't give a shit. Currently, only two individuals stand to draw Radovid off his boat. Emir and myself. You'd agree to be the bait? I fear you'd be hard-pressed to convince Emir to dangle himself as such. Fat fucking chance. Geralt, I wouldn't trust this cunt to hard-boil my eggs. Rightly so, I'm terrible with eggs. But think on this. Radovid hears that you've captured me. Will he not throw caution to the wind? Will he not jump at the chance to kill me, personally, with his bare hands? Out of the question! Geralt, get her out of here before I burst her testicle! And then... Then we must meet, with our friends. I've leased a warehouse port side. Be sure to come. Sorry to take so long, but I had to deal with the guards. Hello, Triss. Philip, are you all right? I've been better. I'll get you out of here. Gonna be all right? Yeah. Thanks for your help. On the guards, rumors and thugs. Thing I piss me trousers. So, how you go with this? Oh, they burn the boys as we're average. Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. 
Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan, Dwan, our ice. I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the last. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I have no notion what she did to me, but it seems you've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. I've got another figurine. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. In Alan, Dwan, our eyes. Who are you? What am I doing here? It's a bond. <laughs> You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. More as bright as you. Girl. What is it? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. Don't waste any time, do they? I don't like this. Neither do I. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Not a conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. Mm. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with.
You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. The Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. We are saddened our dear Sheila will not join in this endeavor, but the circumstances preclude any prolonged mourning. What is your decision? Will you join us? As before, I'm to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. No equality in the Lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalark for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you, but that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. I don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. Siri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You 
barely said hello when you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? Triss told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. How's Rita now? Barely got out of prison herself. She spoke to Fringilla before they imprisoned her. Fringilla said that the Emperor had summoned her and she'd explained why after the meeting. No one's heard from her since. Thought this kind of drama only happened around Radovid. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come, they're all waiting for us. We'll find out everything we've ever It's confirmed. Perhaps? Uh. All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. Well, that settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows! Those are my friends! He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. There is an upside to all this. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Flea? The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. I'm off. Good luck. Best 
blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermian? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Sever his head. You. May your axe never crumble. I'll not kneel before an Ancrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the Black Ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding more harm than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yars call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him!
should not stay here. See, no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermion. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs' blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Ker Trolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather, either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago, were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ah, uh, gods protect us. Hemdal watches over clan Queersech, the blood of kings, 